Hey there, Big Cash Crew. Eddie P back here with you once again. A very happy Friday to all of you across the globe. Uh, Richie is not here tonight, even though he's usually here on a Friday, but he's doing a few family things. So we're giving him the night off, and I'm here to bring you all the good news from the world of crypto. So today we're going to go over um, a couple of golden oldies and a really exciting new one that we haven't covered on the show before. We're going to take a quick look over at Litecoin, good old Ethereum. We will also take a peek at Bitcoin. And then one we haven't covered before called Digix, uh, which is really, really interesting. And it ties into something that we'll be talking about more in the Forex shows uh, because it has a lot to do with gold. So anyway, let's start the show and see what's happening in the world of crypto. Let's get it going. Excellent. So we'll kick off with Bitcoin. So... So you can see here, if you look at the bottom chart, which is our weekly, um, even this week we had another um, fairly thick bearish candle. It doesn't really compare to the two previous weeks, but there's certainly been some deceleration in the market. Um, that being said, it's still very much on a bear run. If we dip down to the 240, uh, aka the four hour chart, we get a bit of a snapshot of what's happening in recent days. Um, still very much in a bear run. You can see here if we look um, back to uh, oh, a day before my birthday in mid-December. Um, we've been on a bear run since then, and it wasn't as clear as day. We keep encountering these management zones, and it keeps playing around them. So even if you look at just the past few days, we had a push to the upside, and then the bears kicked back in, and then every time we're just floating around these management zones, and we're doing it once again, encountering this sort of short-term uh, support line we have here. What we're really looking for with Bitcoin um, is a breakout. Now, because we've got this sort of little little triangle action happening here, um, we should be looking for some sort of breakout, hopefully to the upside. So folks can go on another uh, another bit of a, a bull run. Uh, that being said, we're encountering resistance and we see it's testing, but we do want to wait for a breakout out of here first. So because we're testing this um, this management zone here, and it's happened one, two, three times in recent history, we want to see a breakout pattern, and we want to see some strong bullish evidence, at least one full move to the upside, and then another swing to a higher high and a higher low, and then we can be on the lookout for a new good trend. So let's just hang back for the time being and see what happens in the next couple of days. Let's check in with our old friend Litecoin. So with Litecoin, guys, um, very similar sort of patterns we're experiencing to what we just saw on the chart with Bitcoin. If you have a look here, the candles almost look the same, especially on the weekly chart. We can see here uh, that we've been on a bear run, but this week's candle had a lot less steam in it than the previous two weeks, which is a good sign that we might be looking for a, another bullish pattern. And if we dip over to La 240, let me just zoom in here a little bit. Sorry, I'm on the Mac, which um, Richie's more of a Mac guy. I'm more of a Microsoft fellow. In any case, um, we can see here that it's obviously still been on the same run for about the same amount of time, also mid-December. We keep encountering these resistance points, but we are approaching uh, a symmetrical triangle, which is always a really good uh, indicator. Sorry, it's really humid out today, so I'm sweating bullets, <laughs> but it's always a good indicator uh, to look for a good breakout. Now, obviously, being uh, with, with all cryptos at the moment, we're looking for another bullish run. This one here is flirting down in this area, and yeah, I'm just going to draw a little little box here. Where's my little box? Because um, we definitely had a bit of consolidation. Oh, sorry. That is not what we wanted. That's better. Had some consolidation there, uh, but there's there's no identifiable trend. This I wouldn't even call this a ranging market. Usually in a ranging market, you'd have something where you're punching between your support and resistance lines. This one's sort of just middling at the time for the time being. We're probably going to see another push uh, for at least another could be another week, um, but I before we see a breakout. But we're probably going to keep testing this long term support before we see another push to the upside. Um, but we want to be on the lookout for that bullish evidence, and we just need more volume in this market. None of this is really attractive, and any trade at the moment will probably get stopped out. So let's we'll keep a close eye on Litecoin and see what it does in the coming weeks. Let's check in with our old friend Ethereum, see what she's up to. Cool. 
Cool. So compared to some of the other major cryptos that we've been covering on a regular basis for the past couple of months, uh, Ethereum is having a bit more, uh, or rather I should say, is showing more bullish evidence than the others. Uh, at the moment, you can see clearly here that the last two weeks uh, we've had a couple of bear candles, but this week's was a doji. So let's zoom in a little bit on the weekly. It's a pretty good little doji there. Love a good doji because uh, it looks like we're on a path to reversal, which is great because then it seems we can jump in and then ride a run depending on bullish or bearish or whatever you're looking for. In this case, we would definitely be looking for a bull run to the upside. Punch on down to the 240 chart. Uh, we can see here that we, we have had some, some pretty good tests uh, pushing to the upside. This was a great little run we had here, but then we encountered the same management zone and then we had another push down to the downside. The bears kicked on back in. Uh, we see here quite a bit of middling along and these crappy little candles just give me a damn headache. Uh, around this management zone, uh, countered again, and uh, now we keep encountering this resistance line. Uh, that being said, this is a pretty clear symmetrical triangle. We're looking for a breakout pattern. That coupled with the doji on the weekly chart is a pretty good sign that we're looking for a breakout. So we're going to keep our eyes peeled for the next bull run, but we want to be looking to break free of these um, this sort of short-term trend line here, and we really want to be breaking through this management zone and then be looking for some higher highs. So keep your eyes peeled on Ethereum. It should be happening in the next few days, and hopefully we can all make some pretty groovy, groovy gains in another bullish market. Excellent. So the rock star for today's episode is certainly going to be Digix Dow. Cool. So with this currency, it is essentially gold represented on a blockchain. Now, this is really exciting for a whole bunch of reasons. Number one, gold is one of the oldest assets that people have been using to store their wealth. And I'm not talking about just us crypto folks and us Forex folks, you know, in the last couple of years or the last hundred years of trading. We're talking about way, 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 way back in the day. People have been using gold to store their wealth. So, number one, we've got gold in a blockchain. Love it, love it, love it. Can't stop loving it. Number two, it actually represents real gold. So, the gold that you buy and sell with this currency is actually stored in Singapore. So it's actually a tangible asset. And this is where it gets really exciting. If you wanted to, you could actually exchange your tokens for real gold. If you actually want a real tangible asset and don't want to exist like we do with most of these cryptocurrencies where there isn't anything actual tangible that you can put your hands on, this is a pretty exciting little currency. And the third thing that I love about it, which kind of goes without saying, it still operates like any other crypto. So you buy and sell it uh, on the blockchain, you do not have uh, governments as intermediaries, um, but you're still essentially buying and selling gold, which is really exciting. Uh, I had a peek over at the gold chart, which we'll be looking at a lot more when we look at Eddie Forex reviews, because obviously with Forex, you do a lot of currencies, but there's other commodities you trade doing Forex. Gold is a big one. Uh, fantastic, especially for swing trading, not so much for scalping or day trading, but we will talk about that in the weeks to come. That being said, I had a look over at the gold chart and I couldn't see as nice a correlation as I wanted between this one and gold. That being said, guys, we talk about this over and over again and why we try to use our Forex knowledge and everything we do. We try to look at patterns and historical patterns. Now, if you look here, this little bad boy has only been around since November last year. So we don't have oodles of data and, um, and figures to run through. We don't have great patterns and the support and resistance. Um, anything that ties to what I would call an old world asset like gold is something that's going to have potential in the future. I'd say keep a good eye on it. It does use the Ethereum blockchain technology, which is great because you know that's um, that, that's one that's going to be growing in the future. So I'm very excited about this little crypto, and I'd love to see where it goes. That being said, 48% growth in one day. Woo, woo, that's mad serious, bro. Let's um, tell you right now. So I, I think that's really exciting, and um, yeah, I'm just keen to see where this goes in the next few weeks and next few years because it's tied to gold. It should be a, a stable little currency. 
Thanks for tuning in today, guys and gals. I always love being here with you, and so does Richie. We, we just absolutely love doing this, and thanks for helping us grow the channel, the platform, everything we're doing. It's just exploding at the moment. Uh, make sure you hit us up on Twitter or Facebook. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, uh, and hit the notifications button so when the next video comes out, you do not miss out. I will see you on Sunday to do a really exciting Forex review. There's a lot of exciting stuff happening in the Forex market at the moment, and I can't stress enough, if you want to get better at trading overall, get on those ADP Forex reviews. It's a much slower, easier, manageable place to learn how to trade. I go through all the things, support, resistance. We're going to be talking about Fibonacci and all that other groovy stuff. So log in there on Sunday and learn some stuff. Until next time, stay safe, stay well. Have a fabulous weekend. I'll see you all soon. Take it easy. Bye-bye.